Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Lisa. Uh, today, I'm actually going to be putting in some commentary. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't put commentary yesterday. <laughs> well, two days ago, technically. It's the moment I'm recording this video. It's 11 p.m. I'm gonna continue. I will save my file here, just in case the video does come out, as uh, that voice is not really that favorable. So, let's get into this. Um, this is my first time playing the, actually playing the game. Uh, I don't really, you know, I don't really, you know, I've played it that much. So, ahead. Dead. Uh, oh, damn. Suffered serious damage. Time is a great teacher. Sadly, it kills all its pupils. Howdy, motherfucker. Our paths have crossed yet again. Do you remember our time spent as we lads? I do. Fondly. The heart just tumbles with joy thinking about it. Like your head in a dryer. Normally, you'd be dead. Stripped of your uh, wares by now. But, I like you, Brad. Let's have some fun. Once I'll give you a choice. Your yellow shirted friend's life or all of your belongings. Choose wisely. What will you give us? So, I've made a decision on this, like, prematurely. I'm gonna choose all my belongings, uh, since I need Terry for more of the later fights. Or strip them quickly. Off we go. Normally, head. Whoa, you look like hell. Are you okay, dude? What happened? Um, we got hit by a truck. From some old friends. Everything's okay now. Damn, first my hamstring, now this. You're a bad omen. Well, um, yeah, I guess so. Well, it's all good, man. I don't mind. I like hanging out with you. Terry, let's turn to you. <laughs> Again. Alright, so. Check our equipment. Couple items. We have nothing. This is where. This is how I want to play the game. So. Start off with. Seriously, start off with just nothing. Go up from there. Yeah, the healables would have been nice. Uh, I should have gotten us all up to max. But, eh. Oh, disgusting. Actually, it's always something here. It seems like a storm is ripping out here. You look tired. Are you hungry? If you have an empty bottle, you can have some of me soup. Also, if you need to rest, you can use my tent. Sure, I'll just tent. I have not think so. Okay. Check now? Yeah. Things at max? Alright, let's check over here. Whoa. Holy heck. World can be saved to find her. Status effects. Let's go pick, huh? Uh, I'll make sure to note of the sound scared. Stop sharing your tracks. Okay. 
It's gonna be saved, find her. Full of holes. There's a bottle over there, but I'm not losing some HP. So let's go up and see what is up here. Intestines are in disarray. I'm actually gonna get got that a uh, very lucky, a very lucky crit. All right, inform. Let's see what's these. Tell your friends. Increases SP. Upset the opponent and gives a okay. Skills are not so far. Blister punches. DDA. Okay. We'll talk to this guy. You okay? What's wrong? Getting sentimental, brother? Uh, no. Just ask him. Uh oh. Here it comes. Closing my eyes. Good night, Olaf. Uh, bye. Lucas gave his final breath. Not sure what that was about. Anyway, a whole mob of guys. Why are through here going about a girl? Bald and guy, pink, phallic head, man, green, cut. Right, so, I'm scared. Everyone got pissed and started to leave. All of a sudden, these three dudes with amazing hair found the girl. Apparently, she was in that truck. Pretty crazy, huh? They invited everyone back to their clubhouse, the old factory. I didn't go. That chick looked ugly. It's locked. Bridges are not good. So which path are we gonna go? Small? Um, small, small, small. Alright, I think we should go over here. Let's go this way. Let's go over here. He's recruitable. Oh, hello there. My name is Nern. I'm considered the greatest historian of our time. I've gathered a wealth of knowledge about o Olaf when it happened. Many tales. Uh, many, many tales we'd like to hear. Okay, 
Great. Get comfy, my boy. I have many a tale to tell. Let's see. All right. Start it off with that. I like to call it The Flash. I'm sitting with my wife, God rest her soul, sipping on sweet lemon tea. I believe it was homemade, but my sweet... By my sweet wife, God rest her soul. Wait, maybe she bought it from the store. You know, like a plastic bottle. Well, hold on now, that would be ridiculous to buy a bottle of sweet lemon tea that transfer the contents to a glass. Why not just drink it from the bottle, I guess, maybe so she could put it in ice in the glass. Then again, making tea homemade would just as time would be just as time consuming, if not more. That sneaky bitch. Anyway, I'll save that story for later. So I'm sitting on my porch drinking sweet lemon tea. From a glass, of course, ho ho. When suddenly, great strains fills my body. Something is wrong. I've lived many years, and I've never felt something like this before. You know what it was? Yep. It was my rocking chair. That wouldn't son of a son of a gun stop rocking. I looked down at a realist little rock. I had gotten caught between beneath my chair. A rock under my rocking chair. What a day. I said it was time for bed. I had a little, a uh, bit too much excitement for one day. Ho ho. I slid into my jammies, brushed my teeth, and said my prayers. As I was climbing into bed, I noticed my wife, God rest her soul, brushing her hair in the bathroom. As I peered across, all my, the whole my body swelled up with emotion. Why can't I be married to an attractive woman? Is it me? My bank account? I'm a tall guy. I work out for I work out for you minutes a week. Is that not enough? Now my neighbor, uh, my neighbor at the time, Tom Forknight, was very short. His wife, Karen Forknight, plate burger. <laughs> yeah, one of those women. Well, she was more attractive than my wife. I say she was a soft six, where my my wife was a hard four. What's the deal? I thought women liked tall men. Why well, was Karen with them? Anyway, my horse of a wife, God rest her soul, hauled into bed next to me. She started to leave the bedside light on, on so she could read the book. One of those romance novels. Give me a break. As if I have been already. Uh, this is gonna. Can I just. I'm gonna stop reading this. Oh no, oh no. And I wonder. Did Blitzer. People even, uh. You know. Read this guy? Or. down here you'll be able to uh to find correct cure them oh man he's just like an old man he doesn't stop talking oh no oh god big old melons Drop of water. I don't know. There we go. Aaron has joined us. <laughs> annoying guy. Achievement the luck. Yeah, I will agree. <laughs> he was quite annoying. Who is this guy? It's moved. Ah, uh, Jesse. What did he mean by this? How do I get up there? Can't I? Some bottles are real, so I'll pick them up. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you shit me? Uh, I knew this was gonna happen. 
dumbest reason as well. Do this fight. Uh, license test. I'm gonna take the same route. Not gonna lie, I'm quite a bit uh, angry. I died, but. Eh, that happens. So I'm gonna go to get Nern over here. I'm just gonna skip through his entire dialogue. It's no harm. Sorry for not uploading yesterday for that. I'm gonna make this video a little bit faster, so. so. I'm gonna try my hardest to, like, make this episode longer and play more. So, like, uh, maybe, nah, uh, a few hours. <laughs> hours now. Maybe like an hour. Yep, yeah, well. Alright, so let's keep doing this. Yep, 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 yep. We look real fucked up though. Like I will say, like that scar. Hey, the scar looks like that massive dent in our head. Yep. Big old nose. <laughs> there we go. Now we got Aaron. Well, let's keep going. I will say, it, it is quite annoying having to uh, use the arrow keys of being so used to... So used to, you know... So, actually, what is this right here? Bars. You can often find people fire bars. Alright. That's a pretty decent tip. What save finder?
deal with it. Oh, this is. What is this? Oh God. So maybe I did need that joy. Yeah, that scared the shit out of me, not gonna lie. I'm guessing the big one takes us out of there. So it's not really worth going up there. Hold on, I'm gonna do something real quick, so give me a quick 